हेलो एंड वेलकम बैक टू दिस लेक्चर सीरीज इन द लास्ट वीडियो वी हैव सीन द डेफिनेशन ऑफ एनालिटिक फंक्शंस इन दिस वीडियो वी आर गोइंग टू सी हाउ टू कंस्ट्रक्ट एन एनालिटिक फंक्शन सो लेट अस कंस्ट्रक्ट एन एनालिटिक फंक्शन एफ सी इक्वल्स टू यू प्लस आई वी वेन आइदर द रियल पैट यू इज नोन और द इमेजनरी पार्ट वी इज नोन ओके सो इफ यू आर गिवन द रियल पार्ट यू दैन हाउ टू कंस्ट्रक्ट दिस एफ सी फंक्शन और इफ यू आर गिवन द वी पार्ट दैन हाउ टू कंस्ट्रक्ट दिस एफ सी फंक्शन ओके सो लेट अस डिस्कस वैन द रियल पार्ट यू इज नोन एंड द सिमिलर प्रोसीजर कैन बी अप्लाइड फॉर वी फंक्शन आई विल जस्ट लेट यू नो वेयर एग्जैक्टली द चेंज विल बी रिक्वायर्ड let us okay consider that uh, you know the u function so remember first thing that uh, if uh, this function is u is given and we have to construct a fc function where fc has to be analytic then uh, by uh, result that a function will be analytic when uh, u and v both are harmonic function so you must first check whether this function given is a harmonic function or not if it is a harmonic function only then you can construct this analytic function if this function is not harmonic then it is not possible to construct this function okay so first you check whether this function is harmonic or not okay then uh, uh, since uh, the function fz which is to be constructed is an analytic function so this function must have a derivative and the derivative we know is given by u derivative x plus i times v derivative x okay and uh, the cauchy riemann equations are also satisfied because they are analytic function okay so the derivative of function which is given by u derivative x plus i times v derivative x and uh, here both u and v are required to calculate the derivative okay but if you are given only u function then we can utilize cauchy riemann equation to write the v derivative in terms of u derivative because we know that v derivative x is minus of u derivative y okay so the derivative can be written in terms of only one variable which is uh, u and then we can calculate the u derivative x and u derivative y because u is given okay so this is the only place where the uh, change is required if v is known if v is known then instead of changing this we can change ux because we know that u derivative x is v derivative y so in that case we can write v derivative y plus i v derivative x and we can calculate the derivative of the v function okay so here because u is given we can uh, cast Uh, change vx into minus uy to write that derivative is dependent on u and uh, we can calculate uh, u derivative x and u derivative y to find the f dash z okay and uh, say this is a say a phi function and say this is a psi function so i can write this f dash z as phi of xy plus i times psi of xy where phi of xy is u derivative x and psi of xy is minus of u derivative y okay and uh, we know that if derivative exists if function is analytic and derivative exists then uh, by definition of derivative derivative must be unique and so uh, the derivative must be same for every path that you use okay so uh, we can uh, use one of the paths which is along the uh, real axis and we can substitute x as z and y as 0 okay so if we you put the, in this equation x as z y equal to 0 so this is what uh, was given by uh, milne and thompson so we call this as milne thompson method also that if we substitute y equal to 0 in this and x is equal to z then this f dash z can be written as phi z 0 plus i times psi of z0 okay so right hand side also becomes a function of z and so this last equation if we simply integrate this with respect to z because it's a function of one variable okay so this immediately gives us the fz function or which is the required function so steps are very simple we can utilize this uh, without any further difficulty okay if say we take one example here say example is that uh, 
construct an analytic function fc equal to u plus iv when you are given u function as this x power 4 minus 6 x square y square plus y power 4 okay so before you construct a function fc from u your first step should be that you check whether this function is harmonic or not okay so check u is harmonic so i'm leaving this part to you to check this and uh, uh, for now uh, okay this function is uh, harmonic you can check and uh, be assured about that okay so since the function is analytic so the function derivative exists and the derivative can be written as ux plus ivx and because u is given so i convert vx into minus of uy so that u derivative x can be calculated u derivative y can be calculated u derivative x means uh, 4x cube minus 12xy square so that's uh, u derivative x minus i times u derivative y so u derivative y means uh, minus 12x square y plus 4y cube okay? so that's uh, u derivative y okay so once you have calculated this this is what i called phi function this is what i call the psi function so you need not write it as phi and psi we just use the path by putting x as z and y as zero so if you put uh, in this equation y is zero then this last term third last term they both are zero this second term is also zero first term do not contain y so we can put x as z so this can be written as 4 z square rest of the term are all zero okay so now this is a function of one variable we can simply integrate this with respect to z to find that fz is z power 4 plus the constant of integration so z4 plus constant even take uh, one more example here uh, construct an analytic function fz where v is given equals to 2xy and uh, uh, again the first thing you check that uh, v is harmonic function easy to check but second derivative with x and y both are zero so it satisfies automatically uh, so again uh, fz f dash z is u derivative x plus i times v derivative x if this time v is given so we change ux by cauchy Riemann equation into vy so this whole term can be written as v derivative y plus i times v derivative x and because v is given we can calculate these derivatives so v derivative y means 2 times x v derivative x means 2 times y so f dash z is 2x plus i 2y now we use the path uh, which is uh, y0 and xc so when we put y0 and xz this part is 0 and this is 2 times z okay so derivative of function uh, is 2 times z so now we integrate this with respect to z to find that it is z square plus constant okay so uh, remember uh, this we have already done number of times that if you open z square it is uh, z as x plus i y then uh, real part is x square minus y square and imaginary part is 2xy okay so that's the imaginary part 2xy of z square uh, one last example uh, show that uh, there does not exist an analytic function for which u function is given so you given this u function and uh, uh, we have to say that uh, this function fz uh, does not exist as a analytic function okay so we can immediately check that uh, this u function is not harmonic okay so if function is analytic you must be an uh, you must be harmonic function uh, check the second derivatives u derivative x is 5 and second derivative so will be 0 u derivative y is 3y squared so second derivative is 6y so their sum is non zero okay, 6y so uh, u function is not harmonic and so uh, function fc cannot be analytic function because if function is analytic then u must be harmonic by a theorem okay. So this is uh, about uh, the construction of analytic functions when uh, the real part or imaginary part of the function is known. In the next video, I will talk about integration of complex functions. If you have any query, you can write in the comment box. Do share these video lectures with your friends. Share knowledge and happy learning. Thank you and have a nice day.